What a beautiful summer-like morning. You can see how much wind we have here. Very little. As I make my way down to the beach for the MB, we got some beautiful weather in the forecast. Some big blue fan tuna biting some yellows around and so much more. This is a tailor-made weekend coming up here for Barracuda to start biting or some surface fish to get on the chew. We're going to watch it all for you very closely. You know what's coming up next, everybody? Yeah. The MB is next. Stay tuned. Hold it up, Brad. I got a video going. Yeah, baby. Quick, man, because I want to get in the water. Fun fishing, everybody. Come on out. There you go, Jeff. Hey, show me that. Show me that thing. Sheesh. <laughs> CML, baby. There we go. Good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California, on another summer-like beautiful day. It is warm. There's very little wind. It is absolutely gorgeous. Check that ocean out, man. I can't wait to get out tomorrow morning on the El Patron with our special galley cook, Scott Buchert. That's just going to add to the fun. And I got my fingers crossed that some surface fish are going to bite. Of course, if they don't, we'll back it up with some rock fishing. Two spots left on that trip. Just send me a text if you want to grab them, 657-227-6459. We leave tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. from Long Beach Sport Fishing. Would love to see you on board. Boy, there's a lot to talk about. Some awfully big bluefin tuna on the bite for the San Diego based fleet. That is good news. Will it last? We'll talk about that a little bit. It's been stepping on the gas and then taking our foot and pushing it on the brake. We'll see how that all works out, but some very good signals inside. There's a lot of yellow tail around, as you well know. Guys are out looking for white sea bass as we speak. Right now, at this moment, we've got a big bluefin tuna tournament in Ensenada. How's that going to pan out? And also, we are watching some really excellent rock fishing up and down the coast, guaranteeing you that you're going to go home with a sack of delicious eating bottom fish. Man, I don't know how you can beat it. It's a beautiful day here in Southern California, and you know what time it is. It is time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. Mmm, is that good? I'm hoping you're having a cup right along with me, or a cup of tea, or a glass of water, whatever it is you want to have. But in either case, I deeply appreciate you being here. So many of you have been here, and our views are going up through the roof again. We have tremendous support from all of you, and I just want to take a moment to say thank you to each and every one of you. Yesterday, we're in Bellflower, California. What a great time we had at Young's Fishing Tackle. You should go by there and say hi to Kevin and Nick. Nick, you did a fabulous job. Kevin, thank you for your kindness and hospitality, and all of you should drop by Young's Fishing Tackle. Check them out, and in fact, go back and watch the video. We did a tour of their great tackle shop, and you're going to love it. And the vibe there is so darn great. It's so nice there. Everybody's so friendly. We had an absolutely great time. All right, let's jump into it. First of all, hey, hit that like button. Share these videos with a friend. Don't forget to subscribe to the Freeman Adventures YouTube channel. Tick the bell. You'll be notified when there's new content. We are on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok for a little bit longer. I don't know how much longer. And also you can follow us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. All right, let's jump into it. want to go down to El Salto Lake. That's in the state of Sinaloa in Mexico. And my friend Noli Yan Jr. was down there and they had some awesome bass fishing. That is known worldwide as a lake where you're going to catch some really big trophy bass. And it's always good to see my friend Noli Yan doing so great. We'll take you 70 miles down now and we'll focus in on the area 
the little coastal, beautiful Mexican town of Ensenada, Baja, California, where we have a couple things going on. We have yellowtail inside the bay. We'll talk about that. We have some of that big bonita. And then there's a bluefin tuna bite outside of there. Where it is and the prospects of a good day for you, we'll talk about that also. 70 miles down from the border, you find that coastal town of Ensenada. And inside the bay, there has been some really good yellowtail fishing, but it has not been cooperating for quite some time now. That yellowtail is either out of the picture, it's migrating up here to Southern California, it's gonna pop up here today, you just never know. So once again, running around, finding bird schools, throwing iron, fiato on those big yellowtail, and they've ranged from 12 to over 25 pounds. You get on that fish, sometimes it's really big and tough fish, and that's why you don't throw the iron with anything less than 40 pounds. Keep that in mind. For the most part, it's big bonita right now and rockfish. That's what we're catching in Ensenada. There has been some occasional scores on bluefin tuna. There's been bluefin tuna not all that far away, right off Punta Banda, out, of course, west of there, out in the you know offshore waters. But it has been extremely inconsistent, and the best bites have come at night, and that does not help the pongueros in Ensenada. So we got our fingers crossed because they've got a big tournament that starts Saturday and Sunday down in Ensenada, the big bluefin or the big Baja bluefin tournament. And that is going on this coming weekend. So we'll be monitoring it for you very, very closely. The one thing I can say about an inconsistent bite is that the inconsistency means it could go wide open at any point in time. I'm always looking at the glasses being half full here. So hopefully that's going to get on the bite for the boys down there because they deserve it. They work so hard down there at Botes Juanitos at um, Arnie Man sword fishing at, of course, Black Fin sword fishing. All of those guys do such a great job. Mars sword fishing. I don't mean to leave anybody out. They're all down there fishing hard. Diego Nuno has a great operation down there, deckhand on the Royal Star that I have fished with personally many, many times. And it is absolutely the best. What a gorgeous morning it is here man it is sunny and warm and summer like all right so some good stuff going on hopefully we'll get that big bonita we'll get that rockfish but we'll add to it the yellowtail and the bluefin tuna south of the border all right san diego base boats some guys getting into that big bluefin tuna we did a special short update for you about the independence making a 65 mile run down the baja coast and encountering some nice big bluefin tuna other guys with similar scores, some better. It was pretty darn good fishing for some of the boys. Not everybody's getting them. There are some excruciatingly slow scores still coming in, but this is really looking much better than it has. And if it will only stick for a while, one thing for sure, that weather is going to be gorgeous this weekend for the Bluefin Tuna guys. If you can get Mother to give you a special dispensation for Sunday on Mother's Day, and allow you to go fishing, then you might have a shot at some nice fish. We'll be watching it for you very, very closely. And of course, I'll be out with Brian Wind starting on Monday. We're going to be on a two and a half day trip, and that is going to be fun. And of course, with Brian, you're guaranteed to learn something, to learn a lot. It's going to be so great. And I know John Garman and several other friends of mine are on that trip. Can't wait to see you guys on that one. All right, Pacific Queen two day trip, 30 blue fan tuna to 130 pounds. New low and two day trip, 43 bluefin to 130 pounds. These big fish are back in the picture again. American Angler was out, I believe it was a two day trip, and man, they were just working hard and trying and coming up with nothing. Not because that they did anything wrong, it's just the nature of how the fishing has been. And then at 9 p.m., they get over a jag of fish, and the 16 anglers on board put 50 nice bluefin tuna on the boat. I don't know how you can beat that bottom of the ninth kind of home run. Polaris Supreme limits a bluefin tuna to 170 pounds. On board the Pacific Dawn, 29 guys, 30 bluefin in the 40 to 130 pound class. So not bad at all. Definitely a better signal and sign than we have seen some of this fish was out there in four, 500 feet of water. It is in some really deep water where those 400 plus gram jigs are gonna come in extremely handy. We told you the other day, and now we're talking about a week ago, maybe 10 days ago, when Patrick Harnjack was on the American Angler, they were using 
jigs in the 180 to 220 gram range. I still would bring that along with me. Buenos dias, hermano. Um, I bring that along with me, but in that deep water, you're going to need some heavier jigs. So keep that in mind. Daiwa SK jigs really working well. They get up uh, and bite those things. And also, uh, you know, we've seen West Coast jiggers and several other jigs working really, really well on this bluefin tuna. That's a good signal. We'll see how it goes today. There hasn't been much of a daytime bite. It's mostly a nighttime bite, and that has definitely, dramatically improved. Let's just pray that this good weather that we're blessed with will keep that bite going for a little bit longer. Remember how essential it is to drop to the exact depth that the captain tells you to drop. And the other night on Tackle Shop Confession, Sam De La Torre made the point that so many times, even though your line looks like it's straight up and down, it's actually scoped out. So he drops 100 feet further down the water column than the captain says to drop. The captain says 300, Sam drops 400 and winds up and then back down again. He's assured to come through the fish if he does that and uses that method. So that is something to definitely keep in mind. That colored line that changes color every 100 feet is essential to knowing where you are at in the water column. Keep that in mind. Hey, if you've got unfiled taxes or need help with your taxes, Tim Marquez, a best income tax, 35 years Tim has been doing this. He is so great, wonderful person, trustworthy, works hard for you. Give Tim a call. And if you have heating and or air conditioning needs, John Lopez over there to fish and heating and air conditioning. John's a good friend, a great family man. He'll take really good care of you. Give him a call. Let's go to the Coronado Islands. A stone's throw from Point Loma in San Diego. I know so many of you are coming to us from different parts of the United States and around the world. So, you know, you can be to the islands in an hour and a half, two hours. It depends upon what part of the islands you fish, whether you fish North Island, which is the closest, or you go down to the rock pile, which is, you know, three hour or two and a half hour run maybe to get down there. But you're fishing really quick and there's been some nice schools, a big yellowtail. It has also been a situation, however, where they bite one day and not so much the next. So the inconsistency is definitely there at the Coronado Islands. One thing that helps, however, is the great rock fishing that is going on at the islands right now. So if they don't bite, most of the boats down there will make sure you get a shot of rockfish so you have some fish to take home. The San Diego yesterday had three yellowtail looking around working so hard out of sea forest sport fishing, mostly iron biters. So they're rolling up on spots of fish. They may see them or they may see them on their machines, their sonar. In either case, you can fish yo-yo iron, but there's been a lot of surface iron fish, which is a ball. And I go back to Marcus Fain one more time again, because it was such an extraordinary catch on board the San Diego. He had a 35 pound yellow on the surface iron not that long ago. There's some nice fish, a lot of it, 15 to 20 pounds and some bigger than that. So again, I admonish you all to fish heavy line. 40 pound is the way to get it done. You definitely want to do that. And fluorocarbon, if you're going to fish flora, don't forget about the GT4. It is a great new fluorocarbon, abrasion resistant, superior knot strength, nearly invisible high sensitivity. It's everything you want in a fluorocarbon. We'll be trying it tomorrow on the El Patron. I've tried it here in the surf. Works fantastic, but we'll be trying it even more. And by the way, if you want to order anything from Promar Ahi, anything at all, nets, scaffs, great jigs that they have, fluorocarbon, you can get 10% off when you put in FA at checkout, Friedman Adventures. So make sure you do that. All right, Coronado Islands, Showing some sides, you know, we've had scores up over 20 on the yellowtail on some days, and then other days it's a little bit slower, so we'll see. This great weather, though, I hate to beckon back to it one more time again, but it should make a difference. We're going to get some solar warming, and things are going to be good. I can't wait to get to Catalina Island, the gorgeous island tomorrow morning on the El Patron. That is going to be a lot of fun. My fingers are crossed for some surface fish, some good calico bass, maybe a shot of barracuda, who knows, a halibut or a sea bass and then backing it up the rockfish once again. All right, San Clemente Island, we've seen some pretty good yellowtail action. You saw that angler on board, the Fury, out of Dana Wars sport fishing, catching that nice yellowtail. That's a beautiful fish, and there's been a lot of those forkies around, a lot of iron fish, some bait fish also. That's when you go to your fluorocarbon for sure, when you're fishing the bait, 25 pound, 
should work really well. And of course, choosing a really good hot bait makes all the difference in the world. So keep that in mind. Good yellowtail show there. We've seen some decent scores. I think the best we've seen this year was probably the Freedom with 10 yellowtail. The Amigo at six one day and five another day. And they're nice fish also. Most of it is big great. Not all of it, but most of it is good. The Calico Bass should start to play a little bit more. There's a lot of rockfish. Catalina Island, the pursuit continues to hammer out great rock fishing over there. But the pursuit always fishes hard out of 20 seconds to landing. So they're in there checking the bass and the barracuda and the bonita and the halibut and the white sea bass. They work really hard on that rig all the time. Pursuit. 22nd Street Landing, El Patron out of Long Beach where fishing's had great rock fishing over there at Catalina Island, picking away at the surface stuff also. But now we've had a couple of days of nice weather, so hopefully both those guys, I'm hoping the Pursuit has a great trip, and I know some of our viewers are going to be on the Pursuit. We'll be on the El Patron. Make sure you wave when you see us over at the island tomorrow. We'll look forward to seeing you. Wish you the best of luck on the Pursuit. Of course, all our anglers on the El Patron. I'm hoping it's going to be a great one. All right, Channel Islands. What can I say? Man, the rock fishing up there is absolutely tremendous. It doesn't get any better than it is. It's fantastic fishing for lings and big vermilions and bucket mouse, salmon grouper, and so many other types of rockfish. We have an incredible variety of rockfish that inhabit SoCal, and we're so lucky to be fishing up there out of Ventura sport fishing. They're going to have some nice weather. You know, out of Ventura, they've got the old Matt Walsh, a Californian fishing out of Ventura on a full day trip, leaving in the morning, coming back later. And the Island Spirit also up there out of Ventura sport fishing. They do such a great job. They've been catching big fish. It's time to get on board. Don't forget on the Island Spirit, kids fish free every Sunday. And on both those boats, you buy a full fare, your buddy goes half price. You cannot beat that. 805-676-3474. There is some great possibilities, and I expect to see them by the end of the weekend. I'm, I'm betting on it, okay? You're going to see some sea bass and some great halibut scores up there in the Channel Islands. Endeavor, Tucker McCombs, Aloha Spirit, Patrick O'Brien. Look out, everybody. It's going to happen because they've been seeing it. And it's that time we're coming up here in a perfect moon phase for that sea bass to get chewing again up there. Keep that in mind. Dropper loop is the best way to fish for those sea bass. That really works well. So keep that in mind, my friends. Um, up and down the Southern California yeah, coast. Now I'm talking half and three quarter day. We don't see any kind of real surface action quite yet. I've been calling for a barracuda bite here. Well, actually, more like begging for a barracuda bite here because I've seen barracuda caught up in Santa Barbara. I've seen it caught in Ensenada. I've seen it caught in San Diego, but nothing here so far. And this is the kind of day where those white turn birds are going to be picking at the water. Is the barracuda force that bait up to the surface? Am I dreaming or what? Maybe. Well, I'm hoping that we get a surface bite. If not, we've seen some exceptionally good sculpin and sheephead and whitefish. Monte Carlo has been doing really good. The half-day boat out of beautiful 22nd Street landing. And of course, I'm not even going to name landings of boats because you get weather like this and the guys focus on rockfish. You are almost guaranteed of some great rockfishing. Hey, by the way, it's a law now. If you're a private boater, you have to have a descending device, as you can see, being used there out of Dana Wharf sport fishing, returning that small cow cod down to depth where it will flourish and live to fight another day. So those descending devices are law for you guys on private boat. Keep that in mind. And my hat's off to the great people out of Dana Wharf and all the other landings and boats that I see releasing those fish. And I know you think when you look at a fish that has come up from depth and its eyes are bulging out and it looks like, well, it looks like hell, right? And you say to yourself, there's no way that that's going to survive. Well, They've done all kinds of studies, and those fish go back to depth and return to normality. So keep that in mind. Incidentally, if you need a descending device, I think on the Promar Ahi website, it's $13.50 for their descending device, and you get two. You get two, and you get 10% off when you put FA in at checkout. So order up today. Get your descending devices. You don't want Fish and Wildlife to check you out and catch you without that. But, you know, more than that, it's the right thing to do. It is the right thing to do. And those descending devices that they have at Promar, 
they rig them up so you can put them on the bottom of your gannion. You drop your fish down to depth. It gets off and goes back to its normal lifestyle of whatever it does, playing poker or whatever they like to do. And you're fishing. It's not like you drop it down and then wind up and then fish again. You're on the same gannion where you have the descending device. So it works really, really well. Good rock fishing up and down the Southern California coast. I know you're going to get sick of me saying this, but I'm going to say it one more time. Wow. It is so beautiful. Feeling that sun. It's freaking gorgeous here. It is really, really beautiful. So I am loving that. In the Southern California surf, Kayla Lou is such an outstanding angler. She loves to hit to surf. She loves to fish lucky crab lures, catching all kinds of nice bar perch and yellowfin croaker. And I got my money on you, Kayla, to win this big fish bait and tackle derby this month. The biggest halibut this month gets a free gorgeous custom rod. You can go to Big Fish Bait and Tackle on the corner of Seal Beach Boulevard and Pacific Coast Highway. Get your ruler, and then when you catch your big halibut, just measure it with the ruler that you have bought at Big Fish, and take a photo. Got to inscribe the date. They'll give you all the details, and then upload it to their Instagram page, and that's all it takes. It's absolutely free, and they've got all the bait you need. They've got everything you'll need. Some of you may have watched. I fished a couple hours down here yesterday and had two bites throwing a jig. I was uh, not feeling that bad. Actually, actually, I wasn't feeling bad at all because it was like this. It was beautiful. And there were dolphins jumping out of the water and so much more. There was a guy that was making sand crabs here. Uh, and my hat's off to Troy. What a gentleman. Troy, you're the man. I enjoyed meeting you, my friend. Thank you for being so kind. Anyway, he was getting sand crabs and fishing that. When I left, he hadn't caught anything. Who knows? I probably left. The black cloud got off the beach and it went wide open down there. I hope it did, Troy. I hope you got it. But pretty slow. We saw one angler catch a couple of corvina. That should all continue to improve with this solar warming and this gorgeous weather. It should be headed in the right direction. Don't forget big fish. Bait and tackle in the beautiful city of Seal Beach, California. Hey, Roy Rose, Roy, Roy Rose, captain of the Royal Polaris. 30 years he put in there on the Royal, has decided to move over to the Independence. So my hat's off to Roy. Congratulations. That is absolutely fantastic. All right, my friends, what can I tell you? Promar Ahi, 10% off. Jump on that while you can. Don't forget, we're on the El Patron tomorrow with special celebrity galley cook, Scott Buchert. No, you cannot cancel. You're not allowed to cancel because Scott's the galley cook. Just kidding, Scott. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. It's really going to be a ball. Hey, all of you guys, surface fishing, combo, rock fishing, bring some torpedo sinkers, 8 ounce to 16 ounce, and you should be in good shape if you bring regular surface gear. I would definitely have some 15 pound fluoro to catch a bass with. Lighter line always makes a big difference. Should be a gorgeous weather day over there. And it's always just going to be a lot of fun to spend time with each and every one of you. So I'll see you tomorrow morning. I wouldn't be any later down there than 4.15. So get down there bright and early so we can get the heck out of there. If everybody shows up, maybe we'll pop out of there 10 minutes early. Who knows? All right. What can I tell you? Beautiful weather. Hopefully that big bluefin's going to continue to bite. We're going to continue to watch it for you very, very closely. And as always, I hope to see you really, really soon.